All right, ladies, we're going to be working on our July uh, layout. We're going to be using the Tim Holtz template number 39, the one that has the um, squares on it. We're going to be using the gilding polish, the blush peach opal, and it's super pretty. I can't wait to put that on. You're going to need your fan brush out, a plate, something to mix the paint with or the gilding polish. And if you have your layout all finished, make sure you've got some scrap pieces of paper. I just use laser paper to cover up your layout. So I'm gonna start by covering up the photos, just so I don't get anything on them. There we go, because I do like to have my layout done normally. I'm gonna start in this area right here. So let's load up the sponge. And remember, less is best with this. You're gonna prime your sponge by getting that polish all over it and then wipe off. Oh, there's Bex, guys. Wipe it off. And we're gonna sponge. If you move it a little bit, just kind of replace it. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. And then I'm going to go along the bottom here. So I'm just going to turn it sideways now. All right, that looks good. And then I'm gonna do a little bit up at the top. There we go, perfect. All right, so that is layout number one. This actually has a leftover. So we're gonna do the leftover in a second, but I wanna mix up the polish with you guys. So we're gonna take a little dab, about a dime size, put it on the plate, and we're gonna add very little water to it, just maybe a half a teaspoon. We're gonna mix it up, get it a little bit thinner. We're looking for a pretty solid color once it's all mixed up. Just something thinner I can use my fan brush on. I think I'm gonna add just a dab more water. And that looks pretty good. If it was too see-through, it's not gonna show up on the page. So I like that. Once you do that, make sure you cover those photos back up. And then I'm going to use my fan brush, which is this right here. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of paint and I'm just going to splat. And I'm doing it where I've already done the other, just you know, a little heavier in some other places. So at the bottom of it, and then at the top. Perfect, that looks good. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. Make sure I have enough paper, there we go. And then we're just going to Move this so that I can do the bottom section here. Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna pull out the leftover layout and get that one all done. So again, I'm gonna start with my template. 
make sure I've got clean sheets of paper to cover up my photos because I'm going to do it a little bit here and I think here. Place the diamond template. Load up my sponge. This color is so beautiful. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna do a little bit right here. And then I think I'm gonna do this one too, just cause I really like it. Perfect. All right, so let's cover some of this up do the splat and then we are all set to move on to the other parts of the embellishing. Okay, I think that's good. I'm just gonna pull that back over, maybe do a little bit of mixing. I don't want the lumps on my page. I just want that splatter look like water. Beautiful. All right, ladies, just set this aside let it dry and then you can go ahead and start your embellishing.